And we are live. Happy Tuesday, or whatever day it is when you're watching this. Snow is still around. So we're going to the dog park. We're gonna do a silent walk to the park so you can hear the birds in the background. Shout out to Hendo, Palmerinian Puppy. Great channel. Thank you for being on the live stream. The snow should be all gone today. It's gonna to be about 60 degrees out. Check out the little blossoms there. Very interesting. Might be the last snow for a long time. Maybe one more snow this year before summer. We've got a full battery, so we're going to do a longer live stream today, trying to build watch time. You know, uh, Hendo, quick question for you, if you have you noticed that the Google YouTube portal is down? None of our analytics are reporting today. Let me know if you're seeing the same thing on your channel. We haven't had analytics since last night, so I don't know if the portal's down. Nova. There you go, hon. You can stay up there. I love this little tree there. Okay, Nova, come on, we're gonna go to the dog park. Come on, up, yep. Yeah, we noticed an uptick in watch time, so we're gonna be putting up a lot, a lot of longer videos. If you can just play it in the background, even if, if it's on mute. We want to start a membership. As soon as we monetize, we're going to start a membership. So we can build a little uh, dog community. Yorkie, shout out to Yorkie uh, Life Journey there. Thanks for being on the stream. All right, now we're gonna go park, park, come on. Up. All right, switch spots with me. Come on. Up, across the street. Whenever Nova doesn't know where we're going, she likes to walk in a shadow. <laughs> We'll switch spots again then. There you go. Might have to do a rewatch. Hendo, if you get a chance to rewatch the live stream on mute on the background on like a laptop. <laughs> All right, Neva, we're almost there, hon.
that sun is pretty bright. We wanted to do a live stream today because all this snow will be melted by tonight. It's going to be that warm out. Yeah, I, Hendo says that live stream gives more watch hours. Our watch hours on live streams seems like it's not counting it all the way correctly, but Best thing to do is have everybody watch all the way through and then see what the watch hours come back as. Haven't contacted YouTube support yet, but might have to if it continues to be a problem. Come on, Nibba. Okay, here you go. Most people are probably going to be watching this after the live stream, so we want to thank you for watching. Be sure to drop a comment and we'll watch your channel. If you've been subscribed for a while and you catch us on a live stream, you want to be a moderator, just let us know. Nova's wanting a ball. We will try not to slip and fall like we did yesterday. It's a little bit muddy. Nova loves chasing the uh, the ball around. Experts say it's the prey drive. When you have a dog that comes from a wild, like a Siberian Husky, the prey drive kicks in when there's a ball involved. So, or a stuffed animal. Nova, you want this one? Yeah, we're gonna stay in the snow. This is what the park looks like. You can see half, half mud, half snow. But like I said, I don't know if it's gonna snow again. It might snow one more time before summer. So we wanted to get out and make some videos. Obviously in the mountains, it'll snow. Nova. That's what the mountains look like. Lots of snow. That's probably about a foot of snow up there. Still. You know, Hendo, you should just build a dog park. If you have enough neighbors, you guys should build a makeshift dog park. Maybe it's some fake fences. Like sports sports fences, the temporary fences. Y'all should just build a, build a dog park. Hendo writes that I've never been to a dog park with Hendo. 
you might have to build one out there in Norway. Norwegian dog park. Once we hit a million users, we'll come out to the dog park. Upon invitation, of course. <laughs> Hendo hits a million subscribers. You guys build a dog park for Hendo. How's that? Hello to Foxy the cat. Always have Foxy the cat always has great comments. Foxy the cat says good afternoon to everyone. We're enjoying the last of the snow. It's all going to be melted by tonight, mostly. The spots in the shade, if you're wondering, if there's shade, it'll stick around for a couple more days. See if we can get Nova under this little. Nova is still trying to catch rabbits. Yeah, we're, we're trying to build watch time. If you get a chance to watch a longer video we're going to put up longer videos later today. The rabbit is outside of the dog park, but there might be a hole in the fence. The rabbits come in at night, so that might be what she's smelling. Squirrels come in here as well. Obviously not when dogs are around, but. Pomskis come from a Siberian Husky. And Siberian Huskies come from wolves, partly. They used to, they used to breed wolves and, and Huskies together. So she, uh, Nova is really into sniffing around. She's like a mini wolf, basically. She tries to catch in her, when she was a puppy, she used to really try to go after those other animals, but now she's better trained. Shout out to Violin with Rosemary. Hello to you. Hope you're having a wonderful day. We're enjoying the last of the, the snow for the year. Probably one more snow. Nova. There's the mountains. Bah. Yeah, let's wipe your fur, Nova. Come here. Dogs do love the mud. Some, some dogs do like to play in the mud. It's like a spa day for them, I think. Nova was doing zoomies uh, earlier this morning, so... She's getting a little tuckered out, I think. <laughs> no. 
You don't like that ball? Oh, there you go. Nova only likes the tennis ball. She doesn't like the uh, the other ones. This mud is something. Nova goes for a walk, really. She's most happy when she goes for a walk twice a day. Once in the morning, once in the, at night. If you have a dog like a Pomsky, really you could go for a five minute walk in the morning and a five minute walk in the evening. And then on the weekends, really go for a good walk. But two small walks are better than one long walk. Dogs just like to wrinkle the brain and sniff around and get some fresh air. So two walks a day is usually best if you can. Yorkie says Nova's beautiful. Thank you for that. A lot of people get home from work and they think they need to take their dog for like a 30 minute walk. But really a five, 10 minute walk is okay too. As long as on the weekends you go out two or three times a week, go for a nice long walk. Spending time with your dog Taking a shorter walk and spending time with your dog is probably better time spent, better time management. 15 minute walk and 15 minutes of play. Some people take their dog for a walk and then just ignore, ignore their dog the rest of the night. And it would be better to spend time with your dog than to do that. Yeah, no, um, Yorkie says one day I will make a video not walking with a leash. Nova can't, Nova's not allowed to be off of her leash unless it's a park with a, with a fence. She gets, her Pomeranian brain gets triggered and not quite sure what'll happen there. Nitrous Farm, hello. Thank you for at least making a comment. We always appreciate when people at least make a comment so people can watch your channel and know we can know who's watching. <laughs> if you ever do a live stream and nobody's chatting, it makes it a lot more difficult. So we appreciate people being on and We've done one or two live streams where we caught people in an off hour and, and there was like no, no chat and it's not as much fun. Hendo is, uh, Hendo says, I don't like walking without a leash. Hendo is really well trained. I don't think Hendo would go anywhere with those little, little feet. Nova can actually run pretty fast when she's motivated. Ready to go for a walk, Nova? So Nitro's Farm, I think they said they have a couple hundred watch hours. So if you get a chance, they have a really cute channel. Their farm family. If you get a chance to watch uh, Nitro's Farm there. I think they're in Ontario. Really awesome channel. I have a feeling that that channel is going to grow really quickly. I would not be surprised in the summer if you guys have 20,000 followers. It would not surprise me. Yeah, we, we rolled a couple hours for Knit Rose uh, over the weekend. And 
really awesome content. I think that Knit Rose will be at 100,000 subscribers probably by next year, kind of like Bob and the Wolf Dog. Hendo the Palmeranian probably hit 20,000 by May. So a lot of fast growth on YouTube going on. But I noticed Hendo has two channels, so Hendo might uh, might have more followers than we do, obviously, with when you count all the channels together. We've been waiting. We were going to start a second channel where we can put more serious content on one and more funny content on the other. But we we're trying to wait to, to monetize first. Might have to start another channel and just go with it. You ready? All right, let's go. No, about this way. Come on. Hendo says I might go to comment jail on this one. <laughs> you know, uh, I think we've... You know, as you get, a, I think the algorithms are very complicated. No, this way, hand. This way, come on. I think as you have a bigger channel, that uh, you don't go to comment jail as often. But I'm not sure why Google runs it that way. You should be able to comment as much as you want if nobody's making, you know. I think Nova smells another dog over here. Come on, hon. Google kind of runs things like, uh, I think Google considers comments to be like email. So if you make like over a hundred comments, I noticed when we, we didn't have a lot of followers I noticed that when uh, when we didn't have a lot of followers that uh, we would go to comment jail uh, occasionally. But as you get more followers, they give you more leeway. But I'm not sure why YouTube counts comments as spam. I mean, if it's a legitimate comment, I think you should be able to comment as much as is appropriate. So... Rosemary asks, what, uh, what is comment jail? Comment jail is when you, if you make like a hundred comments in like an hour on different, different, uh, like if you have a hundred subscriptions and you make a hundred comments in an hour, YouTube will sometimes, uh, say you've made too many comments. Sometimes they can pull your videos. I've noticed when, if your shorts videos takes a nosedive, sometimes that could be another alternative of a lot of punishment going on in the Google community. I'm not sure why they manage it that way, but Pets and Animals says hello. Welcome to the live stream. I think there's been at least one time where, where uh, we've made too many comments, like on a weekend where we're commenting to everybody who comments to us and i think that it has slowed shorts feeds on at least one or two occasions 
unfortunately, that's how Google runs it. So social media, but don't don't be too social kind of thing. Yeah, as you get more followers, we almost, I mean, the only, we don't get put in the comment jail necessarily directly, but I do notice that, that our shorts will, will, if I turn my devices off for a day, all of a sudden the shorts pop up, like the, the views go up in the, in the shorts feed. And if we put up a couple of vids and we make some comments, sometimes it'll kill the shorts feed. So I'm sure there's an algorithm there. It's unfortunate when you have to get 3 million views to monetize, but you can't put up too many videos. There's the mountain. Whoa, almost fell there, Nova. <laughs> A lot of comments in the chat about making comments and, and etiquette and whatnot. If you have a small channel like Knit Rose Farm has like four or 5,000 followers, if you're wondering how to put up videos in the new, the new YouTube, what we have found is that it's best to put up two or three videos, put up two shorts at a time. You'll get less subscriber churn people are more likely to, to choose one or the other that they like. So I would put up two shorts kind of back to back and then I would just leave it for a couple hours, wait for those to clear where they get views and then put up another two or three in the afternoon and then maybe put up one at night. So you could put up five or six shorts a day, but you want to space it out. You don't want to just put six up at once. So that's kind of an advanced tip out there. If you are not sure how many to post today, if you have more than 500 followers, I think you can post two vids or two shorts at a time and be okay. We usually try to set a goal on our shorts. We try to get a thousand views per shorts. So once a short hits a thousand views, then we'll put up another one. And if we notice that it's slow, then we won't put up a video for the, we'll take a, a break from putting up videos. This is a new sidewalk going in for the, the clubhouse. Much needed, so you don't have to walk through the parking lot. Come on, Eva. Hello to Teddy. Thanks for stopping by. One thing you can do too, if you want to post a lot of videos, if you're trying to create 
growth on your channel, you can just delete a video that doesn't do very well and you can repost it with a different song or you can make different cuts. So if you have a short that's just sitting there and not doing anything, you might wanna delete it and then repost it. Different length, different song, different vibe. That'll take the stress out of it a little bit. Nova, you're all over the place here, hun. Come on. Up. Yeah, Teddy writes, you still got snow. Today's the last day of the snow. It'll all be melted. It's about 60 degrees out. As a high today. In the sun. It's one of those days, if you're in the shade, it might be 35 degrees. Come on, Nova. Up. We try to delete a, a shorts vid probably once or twice a week if it doesn't have the views. But lately we've been getting more views. So anything over 500 views, we normally just leave it. Sometimes I wonder if the algorithm counter gets stuck because sometimes we'll get a video with like 100 views on it. But I swear it's getting more views than that. So. It's possible that if you have a video that's not really doing well, that it could possibly be the algorithms are stuck on it. Come on, Nova. Thank you, Foxy the Cat, for being on the live stream. Everybody be sure to check out Foxy the Cat's channel. Foxy the Cat writes, enjoy the rest of your day. Take care. Thank you, Nova. All right, Nova, come on. We're going a little extra overtime today. People can connect and comment. You should have a way to post. If you want to post your link, yesterday Bonnie's Corner was posting links. And uh, you should be able to post your a link to your channel. If not, then comment after the video posts and people can click through. Sydney cat says, hello, Nova. Hello to Sydney cat. All right, Nova, come on. All right, you want to go over there? All right, come on. Nova's been wanting to go over to this little area. You can see her, she's smiling when she gets her way. This is where a lot of people park for the dog park. So a lot of new smells, right, Nova? Okay, we're going backward, hun. Come on, let's go. Let's go this way. <gasps> wow. Where are you going? <laughs> All right, come on. Up.
No, but you need a bath. Nova's probably gonna get a quick bath when we get back. <laughs> you got mud all over the place. Wow. Yeah, Sydney Cat, if you missed it earlier, we're trying to help Knit Rose Farm out. If you get a chance to watch Knit Rose Farm and Hendo, Pets and Animals, Teddy's channel. If everyone will, will click on each other's channels, it'll help make things go faster for your goals. All right, Nova, come on. <clears throat> Hendo writes, Happy Easter, everyone. Hendo has several channels, so be sure to check out multiple Hendo channels there. Violin with Rosemary says, everyone have a great day. Thank you for stopping by. If you like the violin, it, Rosemary does an exceptional job of playing the violin. Nova loves the violin and the cello. Yeah, you need a bath, Nova. Come on, Eva. Up. Okay, Eva. Let's go this way. We're trying to avoid. Somebody was out spraying weed killer, and they put yellow signs out. So we're trying to stay out of the the yellow signs. All right, Nova, come on. I think Nova's getting tuckered out. We're gonna go for probably another 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Hello to Mitesh Patel. Yeah, I don't know why people use, especially in Colorado, using weed killer seems to be really kind of dumb. Well, fun story, 
they used to use like lime, a special lime solution to get rid of prairie dogs. There's a lot of prairie dogs down by the, the river. And we actually lobbied to have them to stop doing that. Putting the the poisons out for the, the prairie dogs and they actually did stop doing it. So we have actually helped clean up the neighborhood. Come on, Nova. All right, come on. There you go. Yeah, so our channel demographics, in case you're wondering, I can make a video about it, but our channel demographics have been pretty evenly split, 50% men, 50% women. I just wanted to share that. It goes back and forth, but it's usually about 52% women, 48% men is the demographic. 20% of the people are usually young, 30% are middle-aged, and then the rest are a little bit older. In case you were wondering. Nova is gonna take a nice nap after this one. Hello to Maritza's Yard and Crafts. <laughs> Teddy is too honest. <laughs> Teddy's mom is too honest. We were just sharing some of the demographics so people can rest assured, kind of feel like of we have over 25,000 followers and it's pretty split evenly across age and uh, gender. Our most popular continents are, our most popular countries are US, Germany, India, UK, Australia, Canada, Those are the popular countries. In the spring, we get a lot of, we get more Latin views, like for Cinco de Mayo. So we try to keep it diverse, in case you're wondering. You wanna take a break, Nova? <laughs> you're done. <laughs> You're done. Oh, uh, yeah. So occasionally we'll play Nova's live streams on the big screen TV and she'll watch herself. She knows that's her. She smiles. So if you're wondering, Nova does get to see herself. Not too often, but... You get a chance to sub Maritza's yarn and crafts. All right, Nova, come on. <laughs> Nova smiles mostly. She feels kind of like she's proud of the moment, I think. But Nova watches a lot of uh, National Geographic. She likes to watch lions and elephants and dolphins. Those are some of her favorite animals. Her favorite movie is Lion King. And Finding Nemo. 
fighting Dory actually, but <clears throat> dogs do like the TV on, or some breeds anyway. If y'all have not seen Teddy, Teddy is a beautiful dog. So head over to her channel when you have a moment. She does a lot of live streams in the shorts and they're so cute, very relaxing. If you subscribe to Teddy Multipu, then you should get the live streams in the chats feed, the, uh, the shorts feed, excuse me. I think, Teddy, I think you could make an hour video of, or Teddy's channel, I should say, you could make an hour video of just Teddy sitting there at the window playing some copyright-free music. And I think we could all watch that for you. Teddy does have a lot of subscribers, that is for sure, a lot of followers. I think Teddy is a, a really uh, different looking dog. It's not a dog you see every day. Very well groomed. So very peaceful energy. <laughs> We're getting pelted by melting snow here. See if we can. It's kind of an ice tree. <coughs> Ooh. All right, Nova. Let's do a sign off, shall we? We need to take a hydration break, so we're going to pause. We're going to end the live stream right now. We'll be back on tomorrow. Hope everybody gets a chance to like and subscribe to each other's channels. If you're watching this after the fact, please smash the like button and leave a comment. Before we sign off, Hendo, Hendo the Pomeranian, did you put up a new video? We get knocked out, we get kicked out of the YouTube app as well, sometimes. I think it's a bandwidth issue on YouTube's end. So Hendo, Hendo is putting, <clears throat> excuse me, whew, we need to take a hydration break. Hendo is putting up some shorts. So if you're still watching this, make sure to put up a video or shorts and everybody will watch that. Leave a comment. Nova, <gasps> little boop. <gasps> boop. All right. Everyone have a wonderful day. Thank you for the support. Yeah, Knit Rose, if you do watch it, it does count toward watch time better if you rewatch it. So we do appreciate that. 
Nitro's put up an hour video. So if you are doing like chores, if you get a chance to play it in the background, put it on mute even, it'll count as watch time. We wanted to summarize real quick some of the things we talked about for people who missed it. We talked about if you put up a new shorts video, put up two videos if you would like, because if somebody doesn't like one or the other, then they have choice. So if you're putting up one shorts video, try to put up two shorts videos at a time. That's kind of our uh, little trick of the day, moving twos or threes. It also saves you time if you're already in the, the app. The more you post, the more chance you have at better results. All right, Nova. And with that, we wish you a great day. We'll see you on the next one.